Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. My special, special, special guest today uh, is one of my favorite singers of all time, uh, Mr. Kenny Lattimore. Mr. Lattimore, how you doing today, sir? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic, man. I got to tell you, man, all the uh, all the women in my life were so excited that I was going to interview with you today. I told my sister and I said, you know, I'm interviewing Kenny Lattimore, right? And she was like, oh my God, tell him about me. I'm like, really? <laughs> tell him about you. <laughs> and then I told my wife and she was like, oh my God, Kenny Lattimore, he is so oh, good looking. She kept oh, going off like five oh, minutes, man. I'm like, okay, he, he ain't all that now. Come on now. <laughs> but no, oh, man, I'm, 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 I'm glad you're here. And uh, I know we are a little pressed for time, so um, let's get into it. Uh, you have a new uh, album yes. uh, wow. dropping yeah. December 3rd, which is this Friday, uh, which mm -hmm. is the time this interview is going to uh, air as well. Um, awesome. It's called Here to Stay. I ordered my, uh, my copy. Oh, thank you. Two days ago. Um, <laughs> let me just add my autograph. Sign copy a couple days ago. Sign copy, that's right. An actual CD. There you go, CD. <laughs> in in this world of streaming music. Tell me about it, man. We we still know there is a huge audience that wants the CD. Yeah, I like to have something in my in my hand. You know, technology yeah. might crash, it might disappear, and but true. as long as you have uh, something physical, then you still have it. That's true. Very. All right, man. Well, um, tell us about here to stay. Um. I've heard three tracks on there and um, man, that only girl, whew, man. Mm. And I heard all three are great. Don't get me wrong. Pressure and lose you. So if the rest of the album is like those three, uh, I think you have a hit <laughs> on your hands, man. Wow. Well, I really appreciate it. It was a, an album, a definite labor of love, but birthed out of mentoring. I have a, a producer that I've been working with for the past several years. His name is Drakkar Madison Wesley. And uh, we started with a song called Love Me Back some years ago in an album, Anatomy of a Love Song. And then he did my album Vulnerable, where we did uh, Stay On Your Mind. And he even wrote on a song called Be Here that I did with Boney James. And uh, Madison came to me and we were just talking some music and some business one day. And I said, you know what? let's do this record and see if we can use it as a platform to showcase you. And there are things that I can learn as well because he has a way of always honoring my legacy, but keeping me very current with regard to the sounds of, of music today and commercial music. So we got together, we put this together because I didn't think I was gonna do any contemporary uh, R&B at the time that we did it. I was trying to do my Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole. I'm, try you know, I'm trying to do a little something different. Uh, because all of these forms of music and these genres are authentic to my life story and who I am, how I got into music. But um, when we started talking and I was like, I think we could use this to showcase you. Um, of course, it's me saying I, I benefit from it, but let's use it more as a platform for exposing everybody to how great you are. Okay. Um, from, um, so did you decide to do this while we were on uh COVID quarantine or lockdown? And it wasn't or... that long ago. It was mm. around April. Uh, most of the quarantine stuff was over. Um, but uh, what's really great about that particular period is all the lyrics for this album are inspired by my relationship with my wife. <laughs> my, you know, the authenticity of that, I think, shines through in every single song. But um, I started like around April uh, talking about doing an album. So the fact that you know it's here already and, and now is incredible because we used to take almost a year to year and a half just to record. But um, the generation now is almost like the generation of the 60s and the 50s where they used to do songs like on the spot and uh, in studio with, with Madison and a couple of other people who have been amazing collaborators, Aaron Lindsay, um, Natural. And we, we even spanned um, generations by having Aaron Lindsay and his daughter produce Lose You on You Lose You. 
And Only Girl is produced by a guy named Darren Champ Jenkins, who, uh, who actually is the son of Jay Dibbs or Darren Jenkins Sr., who did my first CD. He was like, he did my demo for my uh, Columbia Records debut. So I know there's a lot of information, but uh, it's incredible history for this album that we have second generation producers on here. It's just been a, a complete labor of love because the place that it came from was from mentoring, um, not just me going, I just want to do another whatever for me. It just really came from a genuine place of how can we showcase these young, new uh, talents. Okay. Yeah, I was saying, I was thinking that uh, if you started in um, April, man, that's pretty quick to get a to get an yeah. album together. We did, uh, we did it, yeah. What's the, is there an overall message? I know you're speaking about uh, experiences, but is there an overall message with uh, Here to Stay? Um, basically, it's yeah, the overall message is that I'm, I'm here to stay you know, with regard to continuing my uh, building uh, of the craft of singing love songs. Uh, I don't feel like I've arrived. I feel like it's all a journey and we're just finding new ways to express this thing, love that never goes out of style. And um, I'm, I'm dedicated to that, just so to musically and I'm dedicated to the message of love. So that's what's here today. Okay. Um, and you're, I'm obviously you're, you're pretty pleased with the, uh, with the album. Um, oh yeah, very happy, very happy. Let me ask you a question. This is your uh, tenth uh, studio album. Yeah. Um, do you? I don't want to say nervous because you've, you've mm -hmm. gone through this at least ten other times. But do you still get that? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of another word besides nervousness. Like uh, Butterfly. The anticipation. The, of the anticipation. Yeah. Dropping a new, um, a new project and just wondering how it's going to be received because, um, you know, you've 10 other albums. And, and so I'm sure you're old hat at this, but um, what's it like you know, to just one, know your album coming, it's coming out in a couple of days. This one I'm pretty laid back on. I have had times when I was nervous and I cared so much about what people were going to say and think. But what I've learned through the years is to um, just make your statement you know, make your mark and put it into the universe, put it into the world and allow people to have the conversation with you. Everybody's not gonna love you. Everybody's not gonna get it. Um, that's okay. But to who it's for, it's for. And with that, you're able to market with a piece. You're able to go out and promote with peace because I'm not trying to go and get anybody else's audience. I'm trying to find out who loves Kenny Lattimore and say, hey, I've got something new for you and maybe even something uh, fresh and different that you can check out. So come along with me on this journey. Um, but I do remember those days. You're not off at all with that perspective. I remember particularly my second CD, uh, what well, was the CD then, second album. And I was like, oh my gosh, are people going to receive it? Because, or am I gonna have the sophomore jinx and all kind of other stuff, you know, that people put on projects. But I learned that um, through the years, there's so many things that make a hit record. I try to talk about it when I'm mentoring uh, so that kids know that you can put out an amazing album, but if you don't have the marketing behind you or the exposure of that, um, it, the people won't see it, they won't know. And it has nothing to do with whether you were successful in recording that album. Um, these are, you know, the business kind of aspects of, of this whole music industry thing is what frustrates a lot of young artists and, and causes them not to create because they get caught up in feeling unsuccessful at creating when it's not that at all. We have to really separate the two and know that the music industry uh, creative portion is only about, makes up about 20% of what makes a success successful. And then everything else is like, man, it's, um, it's about business after that. Somebody's yeah, at that, my door. So we are in a real moment right now. <laughs> could possibly be at my door. Well, okay. that's one of the reasons why I started the podcast was because I had a hard time finding, you know, good R and B music. And um, so I, I figured there had to be other artists out there who may not be household names. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so I can definitely, um, understand what you're 
what you're referring to. Yeah. Um, what's the plan? Are you, um, are you, um, are you touring yet or? Oh, um, I, yep. I've been out touring. Thank God live music is back. Okay. And yeah. Hooray for that. A wonderful thing. Hooray for that. And uh, my touring, I was out on the road actually with my wife, Faith, uh, celebrating her book, System Settle. And uh, we were doing um, a conversation and a concert. So it was really wonderful. It was a great time. But I will start doing my regular touring. January 16th is my first date. It's going to be at a place called Ram's Head in Baltimore, Maryland. And um, I'm out with uh, Rough Ends and uh, uh, a guy named Jay Brown is coming up. And um, I'm looking forward to it because I love doing the long form show. Okay. Yeah, I interviewed both of those, uh, um, Jay Brown and also Rough End for the podcast. So oh, cool. uh, should be a fantastic show. Uh, Mr. Lattimore, I know we're, um, we're pressed for time. I really appreciate you stepping by today. And <laughs> no, I appreciate you having me. And here to stay, I think, um, is going to be here to stay. Oh, um, thank you. I know you have your core fans, but I think this album is going to um, generate some new fans, particularly the younger mm -hmm. listener. Cause it's a, and I hope so the streamers, because when they told me that this was more about streaming than being at radio <laughs> and all that stuff, I was like, what, what are you talking about? What, what, what? Uh, but they're teaching me some things and, and I'm just trying to be open and, uh, and go the distance. But I, the one thing I do know is when we get down to singing and presenting this music, I want to do it in a way that does excite that young listener as well. Well, I think this, um, this album, let me ask you a question before uh, sure. I'll let you go. Here to stay. Um, what was your album before that? Had there been some time between your last album and this album? Vulnerable, and I think Vulnerable was about 2017. Okay. So it's been it's been a little bit of time. Um, of course, we lost a complete year uh, in quarantine. Right. Um, but prior to that, uh, I was just uh, in the bliss of getting to know my new wife, and <laughs> and in addition to that, I was. Um, working on, uh, again, I, I was going to do like a jazz project. I was doing a lot of shows though, and I was beginning to uh, develop my new presentation that you will eventually see this year. So um, it, does, it feels a little bit longer because of the quarantine, but it was, uh, you know, every couple of years is when I would normally put an album out. Okay. Um, and hopefully you'll get to uh, Southern California oh, at some yeah. point next Absolutely. year love to yes. see you in concert yes we would definitely love to do that because we have had some phenomenal shows here i've done some big outdoor shows i mean we do the hollywood bowl and stuff like that these big shows but a lot of times uh, i'm there with a lot of other people right but i'm looking forward to doing my long form set so that uh, people can experience uh, my stories about why i do this and how it it all evolved so i'm excited well, about it you definitely have a, a large catalog let me just Thank put you. it that way and so mm -hmm. uh I don't think people would be disappointed. Um, Mr. Lattimore, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. And that's right. Kenny Lattimore. Oh, before we go, yes. um, why don't you plug, since we're talking about social media and streaming, plug some of your social media sites. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Um, if you want to check out anything all-encompassing Kenny Lattimore, just, just go to KennyLattimore.com. You can even sign up for my video, my, my lounge. I call it my VIP lounge. And that way I can send you emails, let you know when I'm in concert and the different things that are coming up when I'm on television, things like that. But if you are just like, no, I, I don't have a problem going to Instagram or Twitter, go to at Kenny Lattimore. If you're on Facebook, go to official Kenny Lattimore. But, okay. uh, but again, if you forget any of that, KennyLattimore.com will give you all the information you need, including the all of the various social media forms. Okay. And are you still uh, sending out autograph copies of your CD? The autograph copies are for pre-orders, but um, I'm sure that my team will we'll come up with some other fantastic <laughs> ideas for promotions and stuff. And Fair when enough. I see you live, uh, I'll make sure I have CDs as well. Gotcha. All right. Mr. Kenny Lattimore, again, appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. God Not bless you. Problem. Have a fantastic day. Great meeting you, man. That's Kenny Lattimore on the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, and we'll be right back. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, 
be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Mr. Kenny Lattimore. You can find out more about Kenny on his website at kennylattimore.com. Don't forget, you can listen to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and Pandora. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bring Back Soul Music TV. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. I'm Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.